uh, but also on the back page of the Mail, Ronaldo banned for Saudi debut. Now, this goes back to the incident involving the fan against Everton knocking the phone out of uh, the fan's hands. Carrie, what's your read on, on the situation? Amnesty International coming out and criticising Cristiano Ronaldo for not campaigning for human rights and his unveiling at Al Nasser. Do you feel it's going to be a, a good publicity move for, for Cristiano Ronaldo? What's your read on how, the journal, how journalists are going to receive it? I think it's surprising for everyone, isn't it? Particularly as, you know, when he did the interview, he said that he, um, with Piers Morgan, he wanted to look for European football champions league to build up his tally. And then he moves to Saudi Arabia and you only need to look at the human rights situation that led to Newcastle United takeover and how um, dispiriting that was for so many people as a woman. Um, for me, uh, a major star like Cristiano Ronaldo going to Saudi Arabia where women are barely able to live a genuine life and with, as we know, um, ritual um, hangings happening uh, in, in town squares, it, it's remarkable that that's the place that Cristiano Ronaldo has decided to end his career. I am talking personally um, for that human rights issue. Um, for, for Cristiano, he's gone for the incentives, he says. He said he's had lots of offers in Europe. Um, that's probably a big surprise to many because we're yet to hear who those big offers have come from. Eddie Howe even pre-match for the game against Arsenal having to deny a story that maybe there's a chance if they get in the Champions League spot that then he would be going to Newcastle. Unequivocally, he denied that story. So the big question is, why does Cristiano Ronaldo think that Saudi Arabia, we know they're going to be bidding to try and host a World Cup, would be the place for his future? Um, it's, I think, a surprise and maybe a sad end for many for Cristiano Ronaldo, who is, you know, one of the greatest of our time and our generation. I was lucky enough to be following the Spanish league at the pomp of Messi and Ronaldo, um, watching a famous derby between the two of them at the new Camp, in which they both came out and talked to me about the heights they were reaching and how they got the best out of each other. So 